the BPS for 18 months now have worked in support of the government's position to protect Bermuda from the coronavirus. Uh, and we continue to do so. And also to reiterate the point that the Premier has raised, our biggest risk is the border. Now, on Sunday, it will concern many that a family arrived in Bermuda and did not comply with the quarantine regulations and were allowed to leave the airport. Uh, there was a plan in place jointly between ourselves and health, but quite clearly the execution of that plan resulted in that family leaving. And as already articulated, there is now a process in regards to their accountability in regards to breaching those regulations. And whilst now is not the time to blame, there is a very intense process to look at the lessons learned and the responsibility, certainly of the BPS, to ensure that it doesn't take place again. And we are aware of other people quite prominently stating that they also intend to breach the quarantine regulations. Let me be clear that what happened on Sunday will not happen again. Uh, the lessons learned have been addressed and we will ensure that the government's quite clear direction and the regulations in place will be adhered to. And certainly any party who feels that they're going to object or they feel that they can lease. Okay, well, I mean, the, the regulations are quite clear in support of the quarantine act and the procedures that we've got in place around the border security. The issue around the lessons is about the responsibilities of the BPS working with health. And quite clearly, as I've explained, there was a plan on Sunday and that plan did not work. And that allowed a family to leave the airport. Subsequently recovered and we're in process to address that. But quite clearly, there was an issue that took place that we needed to rectify, which we have. So going forward from now that we have reviewed the processes how we work with health, the role of the BPS. And if somebody does not agree or fails to comply with the quarantine process, then there is quite clear regulation, which results in detainment, arrest and prosecution. And we have put additional resources in to make sure that takes place from the BPS perspective. And we've been in dialogue with the Ministry of Health and key members throughout the day, which will continue. And we've got another meeting tomorrow taking account that we have information which is widespread in the community that others intend to come to Bermuda and disobey what is essentially the law around quarantine. So whilst I regret Sunday, I'm satisfied that we are back in place to address this issue going forward. Uh, we've already touched on Sunday how a plan should have been executed, but it wasn't. But it wasn't. It wasn't. And you said tonight that come tomorrow, anybody else and high profile people have said a comment, take me jail. Do you have the power to arrest me at the airport or there, not? There are powers of arrest. But you didn't use the them. Act. So is it mandatory or not? Let me be clear in going Please. forward. If somebody comes into Bermuda and either states or fails to observe the legal requirements of the Quarantine Act, then they will be subject of detainment because, and again reiterating what the Premier said at the beginning of this conference, the single biggest risk to Bermuda is at our borders and we are still dealing with the risks of coronavirus. So the statement and position of the BPS is, as I've described, if somebody does breach at the airport, which is a high risk situation, re-entering the country, they will be subject of detainment and arrest. And with all due respect, that's not what your police spokesman, a former broadcaster, said. He issued a vague statement at 218 saying, yeah. Okay. So well, yeah, what are you saying it, when Antonio Belvedere returns tomorrow and other people come the next day and say, take me jail or take me home? What are you saying? It's going to go different from the Cannoneer case? Yes or no? I'm not going to talk about particular people, but we're okay, aware of this. That too. But you but, said tonight, come tomorrow. It's going to be a different okay. scene. Is it mandatory? Is it law? And if so, why is it not being enforced? And if it's not, okay, so we'll let, see. Let me answer the question, okay? And it will be the final answer. I'm quite clear that if somebody comes into Bermuda and chooses to not comply with the Quarantine Act, they will be detained at the airport in the interest of security, health security to Bermuda. And that will take place. And there are lessons learned from Sunday where that did not happen. 
whilst the situation's recovered, we've got to take that on board and make sure that from this point on, as I've described, that is what will happen.